Hi everybody, Leanne Hollitzer here with InsightfulInspirations.com. I want to talk a little bit today, I want to kind of get on a soapbox if you will, and I want to talk a little bit about the stigma of being an energy healer. And the reason I want to talk more about it is because I really think that we are in a time where we need energy healers, we need people who are aware of the bigger picture of the kind of subtleties that can be made in the non-physical realms in order to create huge change, lots and lots of change that is much needed right now. And, and there's a lot of mainstream stuff happening now, mindfulness and meditation and yoga and that kind of stuff. And all that's great. But I'm still finding that there is kind of this hiding um, energy from a lot of people who are intuitive or seek to become more intuitive. So I teach a class um, that's called Energy Awareness. And it's just, um, it's, it has three parts to it. The first part's just kind of energetic anatomy, understanding your non-physical self, and then um, goes into actually learning to read your own energy and the energy of other people. And a lot of times the people who sign up, you know, have this kind of novel idea of what they're getting into and that it's gonna be really cool to have this skill. And then as they go on, and begin to recognize that they do have the skill and can even expand it, there's oftentimes this kind of retreat or feeling of nervousness about being found out. And I remember having that sensation too. I remember um, just trying to be normal. Um, I have you know, a master's degree in business and I was in corporate and there was never a moment when I woke up and was like, wow, I really wish I could be an energy healer. But over time, that was my place and that's where I was I was sent to if you will by kind of the spiral of life and I you know there's I have many stories I can tell you of kind of like coming out as an energy healer and feeling uncomfortable even filling out like applications what's your occupation I can say I'm a coach that's a lot simpler for people to understand than putting energy healer down and so Sometimes I find myself not wanting to explain what it is and just let it be available to the people who get it. And then other times I'm, I remember, that's not what I'm here to do. I'm not here to treat the niche. I'm here to help the masses understand that they can use energy and non-physical form to help themselves and to manifest what they want in their life and create a different world. Our world is changing drastically and we need to be able to step out of our old wounds of, as a collective, as a society, and be able to come at this with fresh new perspective. So I kind of am making this video twofold. First of all, I want to just kind of say, let's stop making it a weird thing to be an energy healer, to work in the alternative field. Let's just stop that. Let's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's over. We don't need to do that anymore, right? And we don't need to do that to ourselves. We don't need to do that to each other. It just keeps this kind of perpetuation, you know, going. I mean, I definitely, I would use the term woo-woo when I was trying to kind of deflect and create space. Oh, I'm being woo-woo and kind of make fun of myself. Well, in some ways, that's, that's really disrespecting the work that we're doing. So for those of you who are energy healers already, you're probably not even going to be watching this anyways. But for those of you who are wanting to be energy healers or even just wanting to know more about what intuition is and psychic nature and that type of thing, I mean, it's in us. We are all mystics. We all are creating from a different reality. So it's normal and natural for you to want to explore those things. And for them to have been made taboo is really, not, it's not serving us anymore. The taboo-ness of it is not working. So, you know, I really want to kind of encourage you all, if you're watching this video, to tap into your own intuition, to your own inner healer. Your body is constantly healing itself. It's constantly moving towards balance. That innate wellness balance doesn't come from an unintelligent source, but it does come from an unseen source. So being able to work with those unseen sources sources by through our consciousness and our awareness that's going to be key to our next stages so I just want everybody to stop hiding and and also kudos to those of you who reach out to me with your children 
who need help because they're sensitives and the fact that you can acknowledge their sensitivities and you can let it be seen that's amazing and I really am grateful for those of you who are already doing that and I and for those of you who are nervous or scared about that what you might be seeing in your own children as far as this don't worry this is part of the evolution too the children of this time are also coming with these really intense skills and abilities and trust me, I have two of my own, although they're starting to get up there in age. Um, they're not, not children too much anymore. <laughs> 19 and 15, I suppose they still are. But I'm talking about letting them, like embracing their their ability, ability to have these visions that we had to never allow ourselves to see. They are coming into a new world. Their consciousness has to speed up. And that is because of everything we've created with the technology era. Now we're moving into the intuition space, right? And the intuition space is going to be the next place we go. So this all being said, I just want to send out a big hello and love to anybody out there who's still nervous about the stigma of being seen going to an energy healer, being seen going to alternative health care providers, anybody who's nervous about their own internal intuitive. And for those of you who are living with other people in your life that are trying to become that, be curious with them. Don't judge them. Don't put it on to them that they're weird or they've lost their mind or gone off a ledge because that's not the truth. We are evolving and that's what we need to be doing right now, now more than ever. All right, I'm off my soapbox now. Peace to you all. Bye.